Hey guys, my name is Sasha and I'm so sick of how superficial gay community can be. All the time you see these half-naked guys on Instagram and Grindr. God, they're sexy. But also they make me feel incredibly insecure. But wait, Sasha, did you know that there are blogs for and about gay people that do not use the practice of guessing followers and money through their naked bodies? Huh. I guess I never thought about it. Let's explore that together. Daddy and Dad, just like all the others, is the UK-based blog. It's about two gay men raising two boys who are siblings, documenting their growing up, their adoption process, but also their travels and adventures. I'm gonna be honest with you, Instagram is where I interact with their stuff the most, although they do have a blog online. But the positivity that I get from their Instagram profile, which Let's be honest, it's very hard to find positivity on Instagram in a non-braggy way. It just gives me the energy to go about my day. So if you are looking for some family-friendly content with a dose of positivity, I cannot recommend this one enough, especially if you have Instagram. Not following them is a crime. Okay, may maybe not a crime, but go follow them is my point. Next one is Nomadic Boys. As the title suggests, it's a blog about two guys who travel together and explore the world in different countries. What I really like is that on their website you can actually see the countries they travel to uh, by region, which is very organized. And then you can read about what they experienced in each country as a gay couple. They talk about their experiences in countries of Eastern Europe, uh, Russia, Middle East, Asia. So those of you who are gay and who are into traveling, especially exploring the gay sides of the country, I think it's definitely worth checking them out, reading a few articles. They also have cute and naughty pictures on Instagram, depending on whether you like seeing naked butts. You're welcome. I couldn't make this video without mentioning YouTubers. British LGBT YouTuber um, Riyad Kalab. He is very famous, has 300,000 um, subscribers on YouTube, so the majority of people have at least heard of him. But if you haven't, um, lately he's not been filming as much and quite a lot of his stuff on YouTube got removed uh, for some reason, whether he removed it or YouTube did. But I do recommend checking out his British LGBT series on BBC3 called Queer Britain. It's short, only six episodes long, but it's very interesting. Covering lots of interesting topics such as religion and LGBT, how insecure and guilty gay men can feel over their body, and even a take on child porn. You can Google that yourself. That one I found particularly interesting. So yeah, this is the list of British LGBT influences that I found very interesting for myself to watch, covering family life, uh, travel, but also important topics of uh, body insecurity, discrimination and sex obsession within the gay community. Definitely check these out and please I'm asking you comment down below which other LGBT influences I should check out. And if you are a fellow gay influencer, please feel free to shamelessly promote your content in the comments on this video. Please give this video a like, it supports my channel and my self-esteem and subscribe to my channel because I make weekly videos about and surrounding LGBT topics on weekends. And finally, follow my Instagram, Sasha Lives in England, just like my YouTube channel if you want to DM me or you're interested in my day-to-day -day life, which is spicy. Have a great week ahead of you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.